This video is brought to you by Summer Gamers, one of my official YouTube sponsors. Hello and welcome to episode 5 of From the Depths Top 5 Weekly. This episode is on starter ships, so please enjoy. Coming in at first place, we have the Tiny Sub by Hansuki with 375 views, 332 subscribers, and 89% subscriber weight. So, as you can see, the submarine has many things, including the stabilizer, so it does not fall over, fins so it can dive deeper and shallower, six propellers, it's got a tiny compact engine in the back, along with a viewing window, and a door in the ceiling for entering right above the seat. So, as you can see, it's a very high speed, it looks like it'd be very effective for in the beginning of the game as a starter submarine. Now let's get moving to number two. At number 2, we have the Tiny Starter Heli by Hansuki as well, with 540 views, 419 subscribers, and a 78% subscriber rate. As you're looking at this, you'll probably notice it is kind of wobbly, and that's because these propellers are doing a lot of work. It doesn't really connect too well, so you can see like that propeller part is moving. When you're in first person, it's not as noticeable. So, when you're looking at it, you'll notice it has 6 weapons, 7 to be exact actually, 1 auto cannon that is not really aimable, six Six missiles. Also in the front it has things to ram, it has a lot of stabilizers, it has ammo supplies right next to your person along with the fuel supplies so if you do get shot there you're going to die for sure. It has a pirate flag so that's pretty cool. It's got all the propellers for a helicopter including one to push it forward. So that's about it for number two, let's go on to number three. At number 3 we have the Starter Missile Boat by Bungai Amongol with 33 views, 24 subscribers, and a 73% subscriber rate. So the whole point of this boat is to have a lot of firepower, but it's sort of be like a starting boat because it's made out of cheap materials. So this boat has a spawning beacon which is really cool in case you die to be able to respawn on it. It also has a small cabin with a decent amount of space. Probably its best attachment is its AI systems which are well protected and its 10 missiles that are very long. It also has backup AI systems and it looks Looks like it's kind of fast, so that's about it for number three. Let's go to number four. At number 4, with 293 views, 127 subscribers, and a 43% subscriber rate, we have the Starter Airbase by KP Ha. So as you can see, it has lots of stabilizers because this is an airbase, and without them, it would not be stable at all, and quite frankly, it would not work. It's held up by three balloons, it has repair tentacles, it has downward-facing missiles, eight of them, to shoot ships below it and kill them. It also has thrusters for it to go forward. It has a decently sized engine. It also has ammo and fuel supplies along with a nicely placed pirate flag. So that's about it. There's not much to it. It's a small starter base. You're basically supposed to add the stuff you want. But I am noticing a couple more things. It does have supply drills and a respawn beacon and it also has fuel and ammo producers which are very helpful. So that's about it for number four. Let's go to number five, the final one. And finally, at number 5, we have the N25 Starting Fortress by Richie N25. It has 172 views, 66 subscribers, and a 38% subscriber rate. So this fortress is a lot cheaper than the normal fortress that you get in the beginning of the campaign. And it specifically says that in the description on the Steam Workshop, so I highly suggest reading that before you subscribe. Although, I would subscribe to it anyway. So, as you can see, all of the thrusters are green, which means they are efficient. It also has three tentacle arms. It has fuel and ammo producers. It also has as drills to get your supplies, respawn beacon. The only thing it does not have is any defenses because this base is supposed to have you be able to build your defense ships instead of having defenses on itself. It also has an engine and that's pretty much it. These are small starter ships so of course they're not going to be too large. So that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. On Summer Gamers website, you can do many things, including sell to them, shop their low-priced video games, and watch their viral videos. They actually made a page for me under the viral videos tab, so that's pretty cool. So, I highly suggest checking out their website, because it's pretty awesome. There will be a link in the description to the homepage of the website, and for my channel page.